Hi, uh, my name is Andreas, and I have the pleasure to talk to you today about our project on learning from large-scale noisy data sets when we only have very little human annotation verification available. First, I want to use this chance to advertise uh, the official release of the version 2 of the Open Images data set. First, last year, we released like 9 million images for 80, 000, 80 million annotations machine-generated over a vocabulary of 6,000 classes. As of last week, we added human verifications for over one and a half million images, and more excitingly, now we have bounding boxes, over 1.2 million, over vocabulary, way more than 500 classes. Also, image pixels and pre-trained models will be available soon. Okay, so far for the advertisement. Now, for the paper at hand here, the, the task was to train image recognition systems for a very large vocabulary. The problem is that to get the training data for this kind of task, Human annotation is just very expensive. So it usually doesn't scale very nicely with the number of concepts we want to recognize. However, on the other hand, there's an abundance of data available for our task, for example, on the web. However, this kind of data definitely comes with noisy uh, annotations and usually even contains unwanted bias. And that bias might be exaggerated if we use it as training data. However, we still want to utilize it. So how do we do this? In key, the idea is that we want to take a small subset of this, let's say half a percent in our uh, approach, and we send it to human raters. So these uh, uh, labels, uh, will, like 40,000, I think, in our example, uh, will be verified. So the standard approach that people would do for like transfer learning or these approaches is let's just train on the large noisy set, so 9 million for us, and then fine tune it on that small subset. And in many papers, you see it here, that actually works quite well. So in terms of average precision on the open images data set, we see a boost of, let's say, I think it was 2%. I think you can, you can see it. Um, but then we kind of try to step, step back a little bit and say, is that really the best we can get out of these like, very precious annotated labels? Just use them for like, fine tuning. And this will lead us to what we call the deep label cleaning approach. And here, instead of using those labels for fine tuning directly of our network, we use them to train or to understand the structure in the label space or in the noisy label space. So you can think of it as a teacher-student approach. So you have uh, an image that you can pass through a CNN to get your image features. And then you have a teacher network or a label cleaning network on top that will learn conditioned on the visual features and of the co-occurrence information in the noisy labels to predict clean labels that we can then use as supervision for our multi-label classifier. And the label cleaning network on the top will be supervised by these 0.5% of the verified data. And the idea why this works well is that this label cleaning network only has to learn the difference between the noisy labels and the clean labels. We do this by using an identity skip connection so that in the beginning of training, it simply pro produces the noisy labels as output. And the more data we give to it, the better the training data gets. So as a result, in the end, you get a cleaner data set, which is de-biased and a better classifier. And you can see we get a similar boost that we already get by fine tuning, again, by having a smarter way of using those labels. <coughs> so if you want to learn more about the open image data set, how label cleaning works, or if you're interested in like, transfer learning in general, come to Poster 18. Thank you.